Hello there, it's Jaya Rose with you for just a, a minute. I wanted to uh, speak to you about generally laying uh, out your electrical and your lighting and your furniture plan. So we don't do this all at once, but we have to think about all of it all at once. The first thing I, I do once I have my floor plan and the walls defined, the bathroom spaces defined, I will go in and I will find the center lines of all my my rooms. I find the center line of this hallway space. I come into the floor plan. I will start to then find the center line of the entry doors over here. There is a center line through this door. You don't see it, but that's the center. I made a center line in the room, which I consider this entry to have this space. So I found the center line here. I took the center line from the hallway and extended it across into the uh, larger common area. I might want some lights in the hallway and then maybe I want them to continue. The one thing you want to be sure to do is lay out your any recess lighting that you might put in um, into a grid and try to align your fixtures with the architectural elements of the house, either windows or doors. Use them as reference points and find center lines and then you can think about how you might want to light this kitchen. Here I have a center line over the kitchen island. Um, I know that I will have this is my workspace and I will put some under counter lighting under the cabinet, excuse me, under cabinet lighting under the wall cabinetry here and here, but essentially this is my work triangle. So I can use these four corners if I wanted. This is the center line between the, the island and the wall. So I start to block out a what ends up being a very grid-like form and it helps me place lighting and uh, wall, um, you know, ceiling outlets or J boxes or um, what was that? Uh, HVAC. I like things to line up. So if I'm putting, you know, if I have air going, airflow going into a space, I would want, you know, airflow on the center over here. We've lowered this ceiling area over here in the hallways and these closets so that we can run our HVAC through there and we can come out into this space and out into this space so we have a lot of and back into the bedroom so we have a lot of options but I again when I look at a wall I like to th see things um, centered if at all possible so use your architectural elements and use your center lines of spaces and then to go from there to determine a proper uh, placement for your lighting and your furniture as you can see I did place a queen-size bed here it's very narrow uh, through here but the access remains so I have good circulation coming into the space I can come into the bed I can come into a dresser or a desk I can come into the room and go right to the closet or I have the minimum two feet to be able to walk around the bed so these are all the things that I'm thinking about I'm thinking about the bed when I'm placing my electrical and my lighting because I want a future someone, whoever that is, to have options in the space, to put a bed where they'd like it, and to have a lighting that will light up the entire space. Okay, that's all. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.